An important aspect of supply chain management is inventory management. Given that inventory is usually associated with manufacturing processes, inventory management is of huge importance to companies in the manufacturing sector. However, it is a misconception to say that inventory management is not of importance to companies in the service sector. Evidently, inventory is the life breath of the retail sector. Likewise, inventory management is crucial to a whole host of service companies, including restaurants, wholesalers, distributors, transportation and logistics companies, etc. But how about an insurance company? I guess there's not much inventory lying around, except for some stationary supplies, right? So why would inventory management be important in that context? It's time to think of inventory a little bit differently. Suppose I am operating a machine in a manufacturing process. I perform a certain kind of activity for a couple of hours every morning and then move on to other things. The jobs for that activity arrive at different times of the day. The moment I disappear from the scene, these jobs start accumulating. I collect them all and process them only once every day. The jobs waiting to be processed are called inventory. Instead, let us say I am sitting at my desk and answering student emails. I also do other things besides answering emails, so I decide to dedicate a certain period every morning to emails. After answering the emails, I move on to other things. If I receive an email after I've checked my emails for the day, it sits in the inbox until the following morning. What do you call that list of unread emails in my inbox? Does that not sound like inventory? We saw that the output a service process produces usually cannot be inventoried. However, it is not unusual to see several instances in service processes where customers are waiting for a service. We call that a waiting line. But looking at it from another perspective, the people in the line are in fact inventory waiting to be processed. In many other service processes, it may not be the physical customers who are waiting in line. Instead, it could be the proxy of the customer that is waiting in line. Take, for example, the student email waiting in my inbox. Or how about my application for a home mortgage that takes several weeks to get processed? Much of that time, my file is sitting in inventory, waiting to be processed by a loan officer, an assessor, an underwriter, a lawyer, etc. So although inventory management may not be a very visible part of many service processes, it is nevertheless very important to apply the concepts to those processes as well.